Right, we're, re we're relaunching Baldur's Gate. I didn't realize I was still streaming there when you probably heard me like breathing heavily and like <laughs> ta typing furiously. I'm restarting Baldur's Gate as well. I've logged in and out of Twitch. I'm restarting Baldur's Gate. We'll see if that works. And if it doesn't work, I don't really know what we do. Do we just have anarchy? Do we just... Yeah, no, I gather the chat stayed. I think we... Um... Yeah, do we just have anarchy if it doesn't work? Do we just go crazy? <laughs> yeah, the panicking, things being chucked around. We roll the dice all night. We're going to get about three things done if that happens. Because I can't make a manual poll for every piece of dialogue option. I guess we could just have people spamming numbers in the chat. That's an option. If it's, uh, if it's not working, we can just have people spamming the number. Like people try to do when they don't know that the extension exists. And I'll just sort of, you know, base it off of vibes, maybe. Right, Baldur's Gate is back. So the question is... Once I've loaded the game, I guess. The question is, does it detect the extension? And can you see what's going on? <laughs> Bicycle extension for Twitch probably isn't going to happen. I don't think that's really my vibe. I think there are probably people out there that could do it. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying it's not the path that I choose. But maybe one day, I don't know. I mean, money is a hell of an incentive, isn't it? There's there's no doubt that money is an incentive. Everyone has their price. I'm not going to stream my sessions with my bike boyfriend. My fiance doesn't need to see that. I've already told her that I often give um, them finger guns at the end of a session. Just to <laughs> and that is true, by the way. I did not make that up. It just, it just feels right sometimes after a particularly tough one. Right. Any luck. Baldur's Gate. Right, let's shut the launcher as well because the launcher always shows it, slows it down. Any luck. Are we getting anything from the Twitch extension? Any progress there? Are we receiving data? Dream in red. No, honestly, finger guns, it, it just feels right. I would never shoot finger guns in real life. Still no. What's changed, though? That's what I don't get. Nothing's changed. I'm not doing anything differently. I think we might just have to... Let me... Let's just try one more time to mess about with this and if it's not work like we'll just have to carry on the stream regardless right um let's turn it off for a minute give it a little moment give it a second to catch its breath let's back in we catch it by surprise who knows it might suddenly start working in any case we need to talk to this guy hmm. praise is ever oh, we passed the perception check this time praise his throne of flaming iron Praise McGlubbyet! You know McGlubbyet, a tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? You see data now. Scared of a real god? Interesting. You're as goomless as the rest of them. You say you see data, let's try it. Give it a go. If anyone has the power. It works! Are we back? We're so back. <laughs> we did it. It was, I'll tell you what it was. It was when we left it for a second. You know, when I gave it that little pause just to think itself, think about itself. I'm not seeing any votes coming in, though. It says it's, you, you're all saying it's working, and yet where are your decisions? People are saying it works, and yet I see no votes. The clicking does nothing. That's so sad. You can't see the vote box. Have we tried refreshing the stream? Not working, can't press the button. You know, there's one thing I could try. There's one thing that I've not tried. Can I, on my mobile, disable an extension? Is the question. Is that even possible? It's probably possible. Refreshed and the poll is gone. 
Right. After this conversation, we'll have another try. But for now, can you just spam your numbers in the chat? Numbers in the chat for now. I promise I'm not trying to farm engagement. Numbers in the chat. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh what have I done? <laughs> now I have to read all of this. Um, stream manager. Chat. Where's the chat? Three, three, one, five, five, one, three. That's a three. They'll turn on you soon enough. Then you'll be wishing you was in a cage. You'll end up being supper for the spiders or the wargs. What we saying? After this conversation, I'll have one last uh, ditch effort at trying to fix this. I'm seeing a three. I'm seeing a two. I'm seeing a two. I'm seeing another two. This looks like pretty overwhelmingly a two. Well, it's close. It's close, but... If you had half a brain, you wouldn't be mucking around in here at all. They've all gone barmy. Had their heads turned from the old ways by some upstart god. Yeah, it's true. This is this is going to out the leave gang. Just going to try pressing this again, just in case. Yeah, this is like... The leave gang might stay quiet today. The Leave Gang might, you know, it's very possible that they'll keep it to themselves. No poll, it's just not working. Alright, fine. Numbers in the chat then. <laughs> Leave one. No poll after refresh. <laughs> Did we all see this just appear, by the way? <laughs> I don't know if that vanished and then came back. One, one, two, four, two, three. Um, one, one, two, four. Uh, that's looking like one to me. I could tell you were as balmy as the rest of them as soon as I clapped eyes on you. Bollocks to your absolute, and bollocks to you and all. Charming. Right, one last time. I'm going to disable the Twitch extension. I'm going to re-enable it. And then, very briefly, and this is the last time I'll try this, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, I'm just going to pop out of Boulder's Gate for a second. I'm going to load up twitch.com. I'm going to go to... I never know my way around Twitch. I do not know how Twitch works. This might take me a while. Uh, I'm going to go to... A, a content? Stream manager? Is that where my extensions would be? How does this work? <laughs> Gormless. Um, wait, Baldur's Gate Companion. Edit your extensions while being live. Uh, visit my extensions. There we go. Visit my extensions. And I'm going to... I don't want to... I could uninstall and reinstall. It says to configure before you go live for the best experience. So maybe not. Um, act, how do I disactivate? How do I turn off? Configure. Um... Is my Twitch crattery Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> Rainbow Evil 55, thank you for the sub. For this riveting content. <laughs> I appreciate it a lot. Uh, configure this extension before you go live. I've already... I want to disable this. How do I disable this? Manage permissions? Overlay 1, set as overlay 1, no. No, deactivate. Not de Oh, deactivate, there we go. Deactivate, activate. Extension will activate every time you set your category to Baldur's Gate 3. Done. Right, so it should be back now. It should still be there. It is there. Um, is it there for you now? Can you see the extension? Hall and Goats, Twilight Eclipse Part 3 when? Glad you asked. You clearly saw the YouTube community post. Should be by the end of this month. I'm relatively confident that by the end of this month we're going to have Twilight Eclipse Part 3 relatively confident with that if not by the end of this month then shortly afterwards we are almost there it's taken me a while because i have to balance a few other things people are saying the option is there let's see if it actually works though we'll see what happens when we next get to a conversation because it looked like it was working before and then we all had a meltdown so right if i can i talk to a random goblin to see if it's going to work warrior clack do you have something to say Keep your distance, Squatty. We don't have the option to reply. What about this? This guy looks in charge. 
You. Oh, wait, no, let's talk to a companion. They'll have options. Lazel. Lazel? Goblins. Not a shred of dignity to be found among them. Right, does this work? If it doesn't work, we're going to have to abandon it. How can they possibly say it doesn't have any game data? Not working? All right. We'll have to just not use it today then. It's sad, but it is what it is. I will take your messages in the chat on board. You can either do that with... No I mean, the easiest way is probably with numbers. Uh, if you feel strongly about a choice. Um, oh, Veskyfish said, wait. Did data suddenly arrive? Listen, we'll be fine. Draw bags then. What's up? We're obviously, we're going to talk to him. Yeah, we'll go analog for this stream. That's fine. In a moment, there's going to be such a conversation. I command you, corpse. Speak. Reveal truth to the absolute. <laughs> By Vlakis' blade, a geich. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Suga na shukok. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Interesting. I'll just press this just in case it's suddenly working. Liz the trainer, you're going to need to be more specific. Ragslin or the dead mind flayer? No poll, but you see the data. That's so sad. I'll keep pressing the button just in case it suddenly starts working, but I'll assume that it's not working. Um, hit me up with your preferences in the chat. The The chat data is going to be off the chain for this one. They're going to be like, wow, you really got chat talking today. So, whatever you were doing, you were doing something right. <laughs> um, leave is not an option. Leave is not an option. Oh, I can't count all this. Three, one, six, three, three, five, seven, five. It's looking like fives and threes. Three, fives and threes. I think the next boat will decide it between five and three, honestly. It's between the fives and the threes. I'm waiting for the decider. I don't like to rely on people chatting. There we go. Three it is. What kind of ceremony is Guess this? Guess you're a thick one. So I'll tell it straight. We're gonna make the carcass talk. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. Where's the option to show you the weapon? You feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Absolute's clutches. I'm going to keep it 100 with the artifact right now. I don't care. I don't care what an inanimate object thinks. Completely irrelevant. Completely irrelevant. Nothing to do with me. Uh, you know what to do. Get, hit those numbers in the chat. I'm seeing a 2. I'm seeing a 3. I'm seeing... Oh, I'm seeing a 1, a 4, a 2, a 2... People want to study the corpse. That's the vibe I'm getting. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller. It's garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death. But not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you. Known you. Is that Mind Flayer not fully rendered? <laughs> We've got... What's going on here? 
What's going on with your your teeth there, bro? I swear you're normally more detailed than this. How embarrassing. You've been caught without your top layer. I'm seeing attack the hobgoblin. I'm seeing let the ceremony proceed. I'm seeing a lot of let the ceremony proceed. You people have a lot of respect for ceremony. Clear. Oh my goodness, look at this. To see unanimous votes coming in in real time, it really, it's inspiring to have such a united chat. <laughs> you choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, Alcol Dek, Shulko Kank. Oh, damn, the hideous he knows the corpse spell. rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and a questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. <laughs> like me trying to troubleshoot. He, I mean, he certainly got a lot further than I did with the troubleshooting. I'm the worst person to have to do tech support live. You have no idea how long it takes me to do anything when it comes to, like, setting things up. When it comes to setting up new technology. Interesting moment here. Struggling to call this one. Looks like two's in the, he two's in the head. Two is in the lead currently. A little bit of three to mix things up. I think two's got it so far. I'll give it a few more seconds. I'm dreading the moment where I miscount this. I don't think you lot will let that go. Uh, do we have guidance? We don't have guidance. We don't need Tides of Chaos. We'll be fine. Told you. Where, where's my bonus? <laughs> Hello, Baldur's Gate? No bonus at all to Wisdom. I don't think I've seen a roll with, any, with no bonuses in for a long time. I thought the game had broken. A roll with no bonuses at all. No negative, no positive, just straight up. Game data's is back. Ragslin's is mind it, resists your penetration. He speaks his first question. Talk to me, freak. Who killed you? I'm hearing the reports. creature responds, not in words, but memories. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh, only darkness. Damn it! That tells me nothing. The memory fades. And the corpse awaits the next question. We'll try the data. I'll give it a go. If you can get this to work, then that's cool. Imagine the moment we see a vote come in. Because before, the votes weren't working on here. But if you think you've got the data, have a go. No poll? All right, it's still down then. It's still down. We're sticking with manual. Realistically, I don't expect it to change this stream. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but... Shall I contact Larian? Dear Larian Studios, of, of course you know me. I, I need no introduction. It's me, the guy who keeps making demands of you every week. Penetrate Ragslin's mind. For this, I am going to get a bit of bardic inspiration, and I am going to use the Tides of Chaos. This seems important. I was right. Is it the fifth official request? Is that where we're up to? I believe you if you've been keeping track. Ragslin's thoughts royal, then still. Your words will be his. Can we get you him to say... carefully. With Ragslin's voice, you ask... I didn't know you could do this. Um, oh, I thought we'd be able to get him to be like, Goblins, kill me. I've lost my mind. <laughs> Goblins, take me out. I, I'm a traitor. I'm not a faithful, I'm a traitor. Remove me from the picture. <laughs> Wait, didn't we didn't we capture this guy to make him not say who killed you? <laughs> Controlling his mind to make sure. To make a hundred percent certain. <laughs> it's like I need you to find out who killed this mind flayer. What were you doing in Faerun appears to be the winner here. What were you doing in Faerun? Again, visions flow through you. A swarm of Gith Yankee dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Githamans, they 
know something. Unlikely. Suspicion floods Ragslin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. One final query into his throat. What are we querying, Ragslin? Ragdaddy? The Drawmeister? Who killed you? Why were the Gith chasing that ship? Who killed you? Why were the Gith chasing the ship? It's looking like a lot of ones. I'm seeing ones. I'm seeing ones and I respect it. The other thing here is, I think people who... There's a new dynamic now that we're analog, where I feel like the first few people have quite a bit of influence. Why were the Gith chasing that ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the... The corpse collapses, silent once more. No, no, I'm them. not done! Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat! No answers. No killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> the damned trow was right. Can't let her get all of that glory. Yeah, she's got a lot of glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the trow. <laughs> Minthar is the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. What do you reckon? Should we go tell Minthara that we'll if we go wake up Minthara? <laughs> Be like, hey... Sorry about before, where we said we were going to kill you. Um, the news is, we're going to help you now. We're going to attack the Grove. Um, I assume, because we've attacked Minthara, that that's thoroughly off the table, by the way. So, uh, I assume we're protecting the Grove. Say that again. Because I know I didn't just hear you refuse the Absolute! What are we saying? What are we saying? Liz Citroner, I, I feel like that one was from the last vote. We've got attack, we've got um, we've got you heard me. <laughs> you heard me. You heard me. Lots of people want to say you heard me. I'm seeing it. We're being rude today. Rude Puddle Buster arc begins now. The rudest little gnome you ever did see. I don't need your lip. Right, here we go. Boys time to lose. Her. Right, time to lose this fight. Oh, we look at these initiative rolls though, never mind. Um Right. So is the music a bit quiet or is it just me? Maybe it's just me. I didn't have the volume on my mic very high. I normally have the music turned down a bit because when I'm recording for YouTube. It can get a bit annoying when you want to put your own music in and then there's like some music going I feel oh these I was gonna say these drow, but you're not a drow, you're just a guy. These guys Oh one of them is a drow, you're a drow. These guys barely have any hit points. So they seem to me Still breathing. How much damage can we do with Cloud of Daggers? Quite a bit. Also we could pop off a twin-told person. It worked really well last time. Oh yeah, there is that above them, that's true. But a twin-told person. Do we have a... We do have a potion of speed. So we could pop a quick double-hold person on draw and... Are these humanoids? Maybe the Booyag? Something along those lines. Something along those lines. We go twin, we go hold person. We look at who's likely. Draw rags in 55%, but it's so worth it. And is there anyone who... Was it a bonus action to do this? No. Is there anyone who is really likely? Because we might as well get two. Warrior Huck sounds like a pretty big deal. But you also seem like you'll be really annoying. Let's do these two. Oh, she just doesn't miss. She doesn't miss. Incredible work. 
Get the drum out. Things might get out of hand. Destroy the drum. Is this the drum? We could definitely get rid of the drum. Because we've got a potion. We've got a potion and then we could pop off... How tough is this drum? Four hit points. Easily done. There's two. Where's the other one? Oh, another one there. Well... What's the plan? This is all good and well, but first of all... Time to strike. I heard someone talking about shooting this down, and honestly, I think that's the line. You're all scared of a little drum. Like, are we scared of a few little goblins? I'm not. Puddle Buster didn't get hit there, right? No, good. How are you still alive? You can get hit with a flurry of blows and all. Um, a push? A topple? A stagger? One of them. Let's hit him with the... Uh... They all do the same, don't they? Let's hit him with... Can I just do a normal one? No. Dead. Um, I don't still have non-lethal on, do I? No. Slow fall. That's fine. Um, I want Lazelle to be up in the business. I want Lazelle to be over here, but I don't want her to be on fire. It's just a personal preference I have. I also don't want her to be right next to the pit, ideally. But maybe beggars can't be choosers. Maybe we go over here. That'll do. That's fine. Lazelle, you're crushing it. Great job. Keep fighting. Wolfheart. Shadow Wolf. Oh, look at this movement speed. Look at the power of Shadowheart. That that goblin's a warlock and is going to do something annoying, but we can't get to them. We could go over here. Can we get there without provoking an opportunity attack? Kind of? Kind of? If we go there? No? Maybe we just bite this guy. They're not going to be able to push I'm a wolf. Way. Could pop off a howl. Gather your pack. That seems irrelevant. Let's just bite this goblin. Nice. And just chill? I don't think we've got any bonus actions, right? Lunar Mend. No, we don't need to ex we don't need any health. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. Yeah, these are Shah strats. These this is how conventionally people play with uh, Shadowheart, right? What now? Puddle Buster. Could drink a potion to get an extra action and pop off a cloud of daggers to kill this drum and Ragslin, which sounds to me Except Cloud of Daggers is a concentration spell, so... But we could pop one of these. To then pop one of these. Yeah, one of these at the drum. There we go. They all said, oh, he's, he's not going to listen. He's not going to do what we said. He's going to do his own thing. He goes his own way. That's what they said about me. But couldn't have been further from the truth. I am a man of the people. I listen to what people have to say. This goblin's gonna miss, watch. Armor of Agathis, didn't ask. Shadowheart is hexed, doesn't matter. Wisdom's irrelevant. You don't need wisdom to bite. This goblin's gonna try and push. No, he's gonna miss Lazel completely, fair enough. We've all been there. Pushing Lazel into the fire, very cool, pretty funny. I respect it in a way. Ragslin's doing nothing, Astarian. This strikes me as a barbarian fight. This is no time for bards. We get in. Oh, but then if we rage, we can't vampire bite. Maybe this turn. Maybe we're a bard for now. We're a bard for now, and then we're going to rage next turn. So level two spells. We've got shatter, which looks like it could do some work over there. Yes, it does. Um, so shatter, we love to see that. We pop a cheeky little shatter over here. Look at that. Doesn't get any better than that. Ragslin plus crony. No more hex for Shadowheart. That's what I was going for all along. Then we bite this little guy. Let's play. For the instant kill. That's what I was going for. Then we move so as to not be pushed. Um, 
Well, I don't know how easy it is to do that without going into the fire. Can we sort of sneak around? A little sneak? A little sneak? There we go. That's how the pros do it. And then we pop off the power. Here we go. I didn't, did I tell you to stop? Troll <laughs> Ragslin frozen in place with a broken wrist from the shatter. <laughs> like, they're just they're just playing music. <laughs> Can I shove this goblin? Maybe. More Let's importantly, this. Shadow Heart's internal thoughts there. I think we bite this goblin. Owned. And then Shadowheart's about to solo this whole squad. Um, I think Lazel, because this is funny, right? This is the funniest thing to do in this situation. Lazel, is that enough? That looks like it might. Is that going to work? That's not going to work, is it? What if we go a little bit this way? No, not no, Lazel, Lazel, you've misunderstood. One little shove. We could shove and then shove. That might be the way. I could just attack them. I could just attack them. But no, come on. This is... This is this is how it has to be. <laughs> and now I can't reach them. Um, all as planned. Everything is intended. Kill this one. There we go. I told you it would work out. Shadowheart. You don't have any bonus actions that are worth using. You can run up to Ragslin, though, and just give him, give him the fright of his life. Give him the fright of his little life. Lunar Mend doesn't do anything. Survival is all that matters. Puddle Buster is concentrating, but that doesn't mean... That doesn't mean she can't do one of these. Ideally not running into the fire to do it, though. Let's With go over haste. here. Doesn't mean she can't Try pop off me. one of these. We are absolutely crushing this fight. This is the easiest fight I've ever seen in my life. This is like that Nolan Batman film. <laughs> what? Oh, she could go again, can't she? Because of the haste potion. She's still got a bonus action in her. She could take another potion. She could jump. Read minds. I don't think any of this is needed right now. You're doing nothing. You're doing nothing. Absolutely trivial fight. Now... It's time for the first rage of the stream. Here we go. Yeah, of course it's going well. This party is synergistic as hell. How could we fail? Right, we go, we've go. we got the rage. Don't linger. And now Ragslin is about to get cut to bits. Cut to ribbons. I'd be so mad if I was Ragslin right now. Then we pop a little bit of the power. Lazel's on fire still. You broke out of your thing. You're not allowed to do that. Enjoy living among the spiders. <laughs> Here they come. Here they come. Oh, it's over for you. Enjoy the afterlife. I hope Magrubaleb Magrubaleb forgives Take you for being position. such a nerd. And now we hit him with the blind. Blind and held. He's blind. He's stuck. This isn't how he imagined he'd go out. But, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> the last, the only other time I've done this fight, it went terribly. I won't give in. And this is just, this is almost too easy. You almost... I almost feel bad for the guy. He's still alive? Alright, I take it back. Slay. Oh, no. <laughs> Are they going to get out of this? Ragslin is dead. No, Ragslin's... Ragslin's... Rag... Raz can we insult him? We can't because we're raging. We can kill him, though. Common Astarian W. Common Astarian W. Is that is that goblin dead yet? Enter. Why are these spiders not winning? I'm just going to keep it's ending turn until that goblin dies. Come on, spider. 
Surely this goblin. Surely not. End turn. End turn. End turn. End turn. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Right. There's an illithid parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. Um, does Puddlebuster have a brain worm? I can't remember. Did we did we brain worm? Have we brain wormed? We have a brain worm, but we don't have the option to use it. So maybe we've not unlocked that ability yet. Um, I imagine there's loads of loot here. Right, let's get ourselves some sweet, sweet loot. That was honestly What's the best here? fight I've ever had in my life. Faith Breaker. Send to camp. Senor Sakapunta subscribing with the Pride Gaming for his eighth month. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you for sending your Bezos money my way. We've got Draw's key. Scroll of Speak with Dead. Useless. Examine. I don't want to examine it. I want to this take... This one Ooh. is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Oh, we're taking Ragsland's root. Uh, root? Loot. Don't worry about that. Uh, right, this is an important vote. Um, I'll try this again just to see if it works, but I'm guessing it won't. I'm guessing it won't work. <laughs> you didn't get a notification. Heldrip, I apologise. Thank you for the resub. Superhero, superhero, thank you for the follow. In case anyone missed it, we're analog today because the Twitch extension isn't working. So you just have to type the number that you want in the chat. It's probably doing wonders for my Twitch analytics. Open your mind to the tadpole overwhelmingly. Get it in there. Your mind swells as it subsumes everything the tadpole has to offer. Everything it was and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. Good. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. What up, um, LNL69? Welcome to the chat. So good, fun to watch. Very true. Are you talking about putting tadpoles in your head? Is that what you're finding fun to watch? And Mama Malicious, your little what started singing? Little child, little dog, little bird? What's the deal? Details, please. Um, I guess I'll pick up the scroll. These can all go to Astarian. Astarian, you can have javelins now. That seems on brand. Uh, your little one. Yeah, fair play. Fair play. Um, Astarian wants some brainworms too. Oh, is that what he's after? I guess I'll let you lot decide then whether we're sharing the love. So, you've indulged. Just helped yourself to a little more power, I see. And there isn't a tentacle to be seen. <laughs> Not a bad deal, I'd say. My only complaint is that you didn't want to share. I wouldn't mind indulging myself. Are we sharing? The good Doctor 44, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that immensely. Get that jingle playing. I should probably change Catbug out, right? <laughs> I should probably get something else that pops up. I quite like the little um, Pokemon thing, though, for the subscribers. Is it Spinder? Is that what that one's called? Maybe another time. Astarian, I don't think you're getting any of these brain worms. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to keep it keep it 100 with you, Astarian. We love the catbug. All right, we can keep catbug. I might just hold you to that. Right, we've got Ragslin's key so we can get his treasure. Let's just quickly grab the rest of the loot. In fact, let's pop a quick save as well. Does that mean because the drums didn't sound, are the rest of the goblins, like, unaware of what's gone down here? Because who uses arrows? Lazel. Lazel, you can have these arrows. Because the only other time I took this route, I, um, I had to fight my way out. And I don't know if that's the case now. They'll aggro for sure. Alright, I'm getting two very mixed messages there. They should be hostile. Okay, that's fine. I mean, as we as we learned there, doesn't matter if they're hostile, because they go down pretty quick. Like, Sha Wolf Shadowheart. Wolf Shadowheart's doing work. What happens if we talk to Shadowheart, by the way? Oh. No, Shadowheart! No! No! Did I tell you to do that? Did I ask? I wanted to talk to her as a wolf. Also, the conversation's taking forever to load. 
God's sake, Shadowheart. It was bad enough having just one of those tadpoles forced upon us. Why is she covered I in blood? I can scarcely believe you actually inflicted another on yourself. Why is she covered in blood? She's just been a wolf. Did she burst out of the wolf? <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, what we said to Shadowheart. There's a few options here. I'll scroll. So here's the first set. Bear in mind there's two more. And seven is Illithid Powers. What do you make of them? Eight is we should journey separately. And nine is leave. The wolf was bloody, so she is. I guess the wolf was covered in quite a lot of blood. We chat about Alfira again. We digging up the past. Oh, no. No, the leave gang have arrived. The leave gang have arrived. Yeah. Shadowheart, you're not a wolf anymore. Didn't ask. Oh, she's back. She's back. Does that mean she didn't consume a What's wild shape? Next, I wonder. That's good. Okay, cool. I've got cool, a long cool, road cool. Ahead. What mod do I need to download so that Shadowheart won't change when I talk to her when she's in wolf form? Just a just a question. Just a little personal project I'm working on. Here goes nothing. We're in. I will take this gold. When the rare dashes or takes a similar action, they gain momentum. Who is most likely to dash? Does Lazel, does all of Lazel's funky stuff count as dashing? I think Lazel's probably quite likely to do that. Gloves of the Growling Underdog. If I equip these to Shadowheart. If I equip these to Shadowheart. Does it work when she's a wolf? If I equip these to Shadowheart, does it work when she's a wolf? Is the question. We'll send to Shadowheart. Take that, take that. What's this? Saloon's Dream. Healing that makes people fall asleep. Yep, I'll take that. And we'll take this, even though I don't think we've got any use for it. Puddlebuster's currently not wearing anything, so we'll take the sleep spell. The sleepy spell. I'm ready. Shadowheart, put these gloves on. Shadowheart, put these gloves on. Shadow, what do you mean? What do you mean you won't equip? Why won't she equip? Equip. Is it because she's a wolf? Superhero, if you talk with a character while there's disguised self, it can be funny, especially if they're disguised as a gnome or halfling. It can give them a long neck and dialogue, but still disguised. Interesting. Please sort your inventory. No. Not happening. We have our answer. Wolves can't wear gloves. Alright, Shadowheart. I need you to unwolf yourself. Nice. Shadowheart, put the gloves on. Great. Um, Astarian, did I give you anything? Apparently you're holding on to some gloves. He's all good. He's got everything he needs. Lazel. will be done. Lazel, you can replace your lame boots with these amazing boots. These boots of power. Most furries wear what gloves. You know what? You're right. Fingerless ones, right? I imagine that the purchase of fingerless gloves and the purchase of fursuits is somewhat correlated, right? <laughs> there's got to be... I'm not saying it's entirely linked, but there's got to be some kind of connection. And then again, I don't know. I'm not in with that community. No disrespect to the community. Take all this meat, though. Live and let live, I say. Let them have their fun. Because honestly, there's people out there having more fun than I've ever Very even well. conceived. Doing their little things. An example of this, right? That I, I don't think I will ever do. I don't think it's for me. But I imagine it's a lot of fun. It's LARPing, right? I don't think it's for me. I don't think I would be able to... I don't think I'd be able to do it. I think... I don't think my suspension of disbelief would hold out. I think I'd be a bit sarky. I'd probably ruin it for other people. I don't think it's for me. But... The child in me... Can 100% appreciate why it would be fun to go into the woods and hit each other with swords. Like, I 100% get it. No doubt in my mind, that sounds like a great time. Let's put some brain worms in our head. Um, I never use this. A big attack would be nice. 
concentrated blast. Oh, concentrated blast is huge. That's a great one. We'll get that for sure. Um, Cull the weak. Cull the weak is strong. I like Cull the weak. We're definitely taking Cull the weak. Cull the weak is goated, absolutely. It's a free reaction. What's a free reaction? Which one's a free reaction? Concentrated Blast? Sonic Backlash. What are we what are we thinking? Sonic Backlash. Get the top right one, it's really cool, favorable beginnings. I mean, is a bonus to your dice roll <laughs> like good? I could understand. Is it cool though? Is it cool? Favorable beginnings? Listen, I'm I'm willing to go along with it. I just don't know that I buy that it's cool. Good, yes. Cool, no. Listen, we want to munch on our tadpoles as soon as we get them. Absolutely. <laughs> like, as soon as you guys picked to consume one tadpole. Oh yeah, we do have some more, don't we? Do we? Oh no, they're all gone. <laughs> we still haven't used this, by the way. Once we get outside, we need to blow this horn. Um, right, they're all dead. Pop the quick save. And then... We've got a kill priestess gut, right? Which I guess we'll do on the way out. I don't think there's going to be that many votes this session. Volo. Yeah, Volo and Halsin. We definitely need to talk to Halsin. Shall we? Nice drum, idiot. <laughs> he sees a drum get destroyed. He's like, hold on, I better go check this out. Oh, wait a minute. It's the people who just killed my boss in like a turn. This guy's so finished. Are the spiders down there? The spiders are around there somewhere, right? I feel like Lazel can probably... I feel like Lazel can probably, using a key point, get over there. Um, double your movement speed. That's what we want. Lazel, I have a job for you. Make way. Oh wait, no. Oh, it's a bonus action, isn't it? Oh well. I guess we'll just kill him instead. Or blind him at least. Kill him, blind him. It's all the same. Are there goblins in here? Where did all these guys go? Maybe we could free our man in the cage. Justice for this man. What do we think about the guy in the cage? Do we free him? Let's end this. I'll leave that decision in your capable hands. Shadowheart, why aren't you a wolf right now? Sort yourself out, Shadowheart. Heart, wolf form only. Leave him forever? Leave him forever or free him? Those are two very different ideas. I'm going to need slightly more consistency. Shadowheart. Can't get there. Astarian. How fast can you run? Not quite fast enough. You could probably just kill this guy though, right? You can mock him. Or you could shoot him with a bow. I mean, that'll do it. That will do it. I guess we just work our way through the camp. This is going to be easy. Need to find a way forward. Leave him forever. Free him, free him. I've seen quite a lot of people say free him. How do I free this man? Because if I shoot the hinge, he'll fall into the chasm, right? Is there a... Excuse me. Cage door disarm. Or cage door destroy. It's... Oh! I... <laughs> oh seven's in the chat. <laughs> oh seven's in the chat for our fallen angel. He was one of the good ones. <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think that would happen. Who's fighting me right now? What are these idiots doing? What are they doing? Who are we fighting right now? Who's the enemy? You? 
I don't even know who you guys are. Right. Um, obviously, way. we're running in. So we got... We've got Nomeo and Julia over here. And then we've got someone up there. That's quite high. Too far to hit. How do we get up there? Is there a ladder around here? There's a ladder back here. Maybe we just take some pot shots at these idiots. Hit them with not enough movement. Hit them with the not enough movement. Hit them with the... Um, I don't really want to spend a key point. Maybe we hit them with the dash, actually. We hit them with the dash. Because Lazel's like immune to fall damage, right? So Lazel can go wherever she wants. Um... Lazel. Lazel will reach combat in a, in a few turns. In five or six turns, Lazel will be here. They're dashing. They've got nothing to do. Running away? Coward. Shadowheart, you are a wolf. Shadowheart, I need you to dash. I need you to dash. Have to keep going. We're closing the gap. We're losing Sylvanas' blessing, but who cares? Let's have some carnage. A starion. Step quick. Let's get some moves going on. Let's, um, can we see this goblin? Can we mock this goblin? We can't see the goblin. Can we teleport? Does a starion know how to do that? He doesn't. Can we give some bardic inspiration to Shadowheart? No, she's too far away. Can we dash? I don't think we want to pop this pod just yet. So I think a starion is going to go over here. We'll pop that pod in good time. We, we're going to use the ogres when we get outside. That's the plan. Ow. Alright, fair enough. Puddle Buster, it's about time you got here. Let's, um... Don't waste a step. Head over here. We probably don't want to use any spell slots on these clowns. Let's, um... Everything's out of range. I could use a sorcery point, but that just feels a little bit silly to me. Seems a bit unnecessary. I think Puddle Buster needs to follow Lazel. Puddle Buster's going up in the rafters. Lazel, speak of the devil. No time to waste. Lazel, you belong to the rafters now. You um you're going to keep dashing. You have places to be. You can go here. And chill. This goblin's going to run away. That goblin's the best shot in the world. Shadowheart. It's time to kill this one. It's time to maneuver around this one. It's time to expend spell slots to regain health. Regain 1d8 of health, or... You know what? Let's just be healthy. Love that. Love that for Shadowheart. Astarian, can you push this goblin into the gap? That's not going to work, so let's just kill him. Lovely. Love when everyone They're just does what I tell them me. to. All of them. Puddle Buster, that's a bit dark. These boots have seen everything. Right, Puddle Buster's up here. And Puddle Buster is dashing. At the end of this fight, I need to remember to keep them separated. I don't want them to all gang up. Lazel. Where's that other goblin? Over there. What do you mean it's too far away? Not to be, right, not to be arrogant, right? And I'm not an archer. But I think, I think that shot's worth a go, personally. If it were down to me, I think that shot's worth a go. Maybe Lazel doesn't think so. How far could Lazel jump if I tripled her jump speed, do you reckon? Probably quite far. In fact, I actually want her to do that. Lazel, triple your jump speed. You're jumping all the way, Lazel. You're jumping all the way over there. Love that. Love that for her. Miss? That doesn't look like a miss to me. Somebody missed the memo. Shadowheart, we'll deal with well, you in a second. So much for peace. Puddle Buster, stop quipping. Get dashing. Go, 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 go. Swift as my feet can carry me. What should I do? Um, 
Astarian, can you see that goblin yet? Can you hit him with the mockery? <laughs> this will be me. Alright, nothing. Nothing but a whiff. That's fine. You can just chill for a bit. I'm ready. Shadowheart, I don't want you to pop the pod, so can you just go and just go and hide around this corner? And Lazel. Right, Lazel. This is gonna be the biggest push of your life. Lazel, it's gonna be so good. Everyone's gonna go crazy for this one, Lazel. Bye. <laughs> okay, we may have we may have alerted the whole camp, but it was worth it. I stand by it, I'd do it again. I would do it again without question. They're all about to run through here. Maybe we can lay the greatest trap ever ever laid. Lazel, hide. Going into hiding. Love that. Shadowheart. I think all right, now we're gonna lure them out. So I think these guys are gonna run in here, because we know the goblins are coming. Can wolves climb ladders? Wolves can climb ladders. Actually, what's a what's a wolf gonna do at the top of a ladder? I didn't, I didn't think that through. We could cancel wild shape and do some spells, right? What spells does Shadowheart know? How do I check? Shadowheart, Shadowheart, what spells do you know? No, I don't care about your wolf spells. Oh, can I not check? That's crazy. I just want to know about my little druid spells. You know what, it's fine. Shadowheart, go back down the ladder. It was good to see that you could do it. I'm proud of you. for the slaughter. Astarian, you could pop a thunder wave, except that's close range, isn't it? You could pop a hide round this the corner. Way. Leave no trace. Shadowheart, can you hide? Unnoticed. Love that. Good. Good. Nothing important is ever easy. Puddlebuster. Puddlebuster, this is an interesting one because you just cannot be seen. I don't want you to be spotted, but I think they're not going to see her up here, right? This course Who's because. looking up here? Lazel, you're hiding. Chill. We wait. We wait for Tracker Toad to come in here. Are they not going to Are they not going to come? There's blood in here. I thought this I thought these lads were all crazy. I thought they were going to come in. Guys? Oh, is it because they've lost sight of all of us? Do we need some bait? Is it possible that we need some bait? It's very possible that we need some bait. How about a little one of these. There we go. There we go. That'll get him in. Yeah, yeah. Cast your armor of Agathis. you got to go check that out. Oh, have they given up? Just because they saw through the illusion, they're like, well, I guess, guess there's no need to move. What are they talking about? Come on, then. Goblins, this is embarrassing. You're just not going to do anything with your lives. Um, we're chilling. If they think I'm making the first move, they are mad. Shadowheart could do a howl. You know, oh, wait, wait, wait. This feels good. Wait. I know what we're doing. I know the plan. Who's ready? On my way. Who's ready for the plan? Yeah, a few people. A few people, I think, understand what we're doing. I think a few people might see the line. Shadowheart, you need to stay hidden. You're part of the trap. We're going to start playing the drums. And I think they'll all be like, Oh my god, we got to go check out this drumming. That sounds sick. we got a regular Neil Pert over here. we got a Keith Moon... Just hanging out. We've got a minor illusion all up in our business. Keep casting minor illusion as well, just to... Oh, they think it's real. They think it's real. We might have them here. That's right. In you come. Cat disappeared. Cat disappeared. We're teleporting around. Have we successfully lured a goblin? No. We're working on it, though. Lazel, chill. Right. I know this is taking a while, but the payoff's going to be huge. Right, Astarian. You don't need to be sneaking right now. Just just use the drum. Dash. 
a bit dash over here. We dash, we drum. The drum sits in silence. Gut got aggroed, we can kill her. Now, I know I would normally give you a choice here, but I'm not. This is the whole plan. This is all part of the plan. Drums in the deep. The distant they are coming. of the goblins explodes into angry shouting. They are running your way, swiftly as they can. These goblins are about to get clowned upon, if this works. Astarian, go. Let's be quick. Go, 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 go. Is he out of combat right now? Why is Astarian not involved in combat? Everyone else is. He's, he's just got free reign to go where he wants right now. If so, I probably just want him here because he's going to go barbarian and mess him up. So it doesn't really change much. I can't even catch my breath. Uh, Shadowheart. Need to act fast. We pass the turn. Goblins, come on. I banged the drum. Come on. Yeah, here we go. Here comes Gut. Right, that's all we need, really. Oh, Gut's about to get absolutely battered. I don't think we're even going to need to hold person on this one. I think this is just going to be a bloodbath. Right. A cloud of daggers is always a nice thing to see. However, I think we save that for when the big gobs start coming. I think we reduce her movement speed to really mess her up. Enjoy that. Now you're walking slowly. How embarrassing for you. Puddle Buster's going to retreat for safety. Gut's going to be like, that's not allowed. You're not allowed to do that to me. I'm literally a main villain. Your daughter saw the undies and ran away giggling. I fear... <laughs> I fear this may be a formative moment in her life. <laughs> At least you know this stream is safe because we've turned off the genitals, so it's not going to be a problem. You need not be concerned. Arrow of Roaring Thunder sounds fun. Lightning sounds fun. You know what else sounds fun? Uh, not actually, no, taking six damage doesn't sound very fun. Lazel... I kind of feel like I want you down there. How does her how does her little ability work? When you fall, I don't want her to fall. I want her to Will I get to use it if I do this, if I jump? If I jump, will Lazel be all right? I mean, I guess the worst case is she is she ends up prone. Actually, for now, we have the high ground. We have the high ground. I think we just use it. I think we Honestly, kill this. What does Armor of Agathis do? Does Armor of Agathis mean I get hurt if I attack them? No. Wait. Melee attack? We're not using melee attacks. It's fine. Get ready to lose your concentration, idiot. Hachazith. <laughs> nice armor. Nerd. Right. Goblins. Tracker Tozad, you coming? Yeah, here they come. Who's ready for a thunder wave? Who's ready for a cheeky little thunder wave? These guys are Shadowheart. Can't quite get to them this turn. So we hide. She's still hidden. I think that's fine. We hide. They're going to be so surprised. They're going to be so surprised. Where are you going? Guts coming in. She's about to be shocked. Where, where are you going? <laughs> Should we push Gut down to the spiders, if possible? That would be huge, wouldn't it? Let them let them f duke it out, I say. Yeah, no, Carter Daggers in the doorway is very much on the cards. So I just need the goblins to line up right. I, uh, I'm pleased to announce that in... I've been... I've recently sort of rejoined a, uh, a regular D&D &D game that was going on a few years back and then... It stopped due to reasons the way that D&D &D does, but it's back on now. To keep going. And I am playing a character that knows Cloud of Daggers, and it's... Oh, it's liberating. It's like all my Christmas is coming at once. Ray of sickness on Priestess Gut. Too far away. You can have it, though. Enjoy being dead. Oh, and Puddle Bus is invisible. It doesn't get any better than that. Doesn't get any better than that. Killing people and turning invisible. But yeah, my, anyway, my D&D &D character, where are you going? How did you get up there? Hello? Lazel? 
<laughs> my D&D character is a half-elf warlock. Half-elf packed to the blade warlock. It's good vibes. Um, and I know Cloud of Daggers, which is very exciting. It's it's like... Um, it's, it's just a good spell, you know? I've not cast it yet, but it's good to know I have it. It's good to know I have it, you know, when I need it. We could Cloud of Daggers down here. Lazel, it's time for some melee, which you love anyway, so that's fine. Blind. Missed. Can we get around them to a position where a push might work? I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. Hmm, no, it's not going to work. We can still flurry of blows, though. Have one of these. Nice. Lazel can handle it. Goblins, I need you all to mass... In yeah, that's right. All dash, all go the same distance. That's it. Shadow Heart. Wolves can't push, but wolves can bite. Someone said something about gut having a shield. Oh, it's fine. It says not enough movement, but surely, surely that's going to work. I'm a firm believer. On I go. <laughs> I forgot she was sneaking. <laughs> Get him. She's not seen us. Apparently, we're just out of range. <laughs> um, all right. In that case, in that case, <laughs> we sneak back. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time, champs. <laughs> that's one for. That's one for a future turn. Up come the booyags, booyars. Booyags. It's Booyag, come on. They can say Booyah in the game as much as they want. It's not that. Jump part of the way. Could have done that. Next time I will. Gar, I wanted to throw you to the spiders. If she wants to use her turn healing her little mates, that's fine by me. Devout Marax getting involved. Who use, Who actually cast Bless? Because whoever that is, I want to have a word. Oh my god, has that... Stop, stop, stop. Yes! Yes. You truly love to see it. You idiots. Look at these little mugs. <laughs> oh, you absolute melons. Is that one alive? Dead. Dead. Gonna be dead soon. And then we do the classic My Puddle Buster retreat. I mean, I was going to do them up by Lazel, but I feel like Lazel can kill all these goblins. Lazel's going to have no trouble here. It's going to be no issue at all. She's fine. She's fine. Lazel. Lazel. I think you just got to keep up the fight. You're more likely... Uh, they're both kind of the same. What are the push odds looking like? 60% but not pushing very far. 60% but not pushing very far. What if we scoot round? I just don't think the angle's quite right. Also, opportunity attacks. We'll just kill this one. We'll kill him. We hit him with the flurry of blows. Milkman. Milkman not real. <laughs> Milkman not real is now following. The game should let you recreate the Cloud of Dagger spells with a bunch of daggers and the telekinesis spell. That's true. That would be very cool. Welcome to the chat, by the way. Nice to have you here. Would be very realistic. And, you know, the rest of the game is incredibly realistic. To let up. Speaking of. <laughs> is that goblin dead or alive? How are you... Excuse... How are you dead? <laughs> what? Expl explain that to me. How far can this wolf jump? That's an interesting route you're proposing, Shadowheart. I, I understand what you're going for there. It's a shame... Oh, wait. Astarian's not even in the turn like order. We've just been chilling without Astarian. He can sneak up and kill One Gut. step at a time. Wait. No. Crouch. No! Astarian. You were supposed to crouch. Um, dashing is an action and pushing is a bonus action. That's game knowledge right there. Dashing is an action. We go... Somewhere where we can't be pushed back. Like here. Hmm. Like, like here? Will that work? Let's try it. We're running. 
Please, Jessica, say hello to your spiders. Get out of here. Lol, Lamau, owned, etc. Spiders have entered the chat. Shadowheart, you need to do something. You can't just hide. Where can we send Shadowheart? Killing off that one goblin doesn't make any sense. I think what we can do is we can stop crouching because there's no need. We'll dash. Shadowheart, you're going to go over here. When I go. Don't go into the cloud of daggers. Well done. This Booyag is going to chill. This Booyag is going to poison Lazel, which is a kind of chilling. Priestess Gut's going to stand up. Devout Mark over here. <laughs> that, that is, that's like where they have those words where they have the first and last letters where they should be and then they change all the middle ones, but you can still read them. Devout Mark. It's got big ideas going on. Puddle Buster, where the hell are you? You're over here. Puddle Buster. Very well. Cloud of Daggers has done its job. There's a chance that Devout Mark is going to run right into it, though. Which is exciting. Um, Priestess Gut is presumably just being dealt with. I don't think we need to worry about that. Puddle Buster, honestly, I think you need to start moving around. Can you get over here? You can't. You can't jump that little distance there. Okay, follow-up question. Why not? Because <laughs> that's, that's not very far. I thought having Puddle Buster up here would be good, but it turns out she's just not doing anything. That's a miss. Love to see that. Lazel, you've got disadvantage. Do you have disadvantage on shoving? Yes, but we're still going to go for it. All right, you miss 100% of the shots you never take. Should have done that first. No biggie. Spiders, finish off gut. The only thing is, if we're going to loot her, we're going to have to get rid of these spiders now. Which is a bit of a pain. But... It's fine. How did we lose Will? Uh, we lost Will because Will was consistently incompetent. He was... <laughs> he was bad vibes. He wasn't doing what we needed him to do. It's his own fault. Shadowheart, climb this ladder. Heading there. Maybe Shadowheart needs, like, a nickname for when she's in wolf form. Like a little alter ego of some kind. I don't know what it would be. Shadowheart. Not to be rude, but, like, can you do anything? No, not even an opportunity attack. That's pathetic. That's embarrassing. You know what? Maybe Gut's going to get rid of these spiders for us. That'll be handy. Shadow Yif. Listen, we're still workshopping it. <laughs> There's plenty of time to find the right line. This torturer spike needs to be in range, but he's not in range. So, Gut, are you in range? Oh, hell yeah. Have one, one of down. these. Millions live. Nice. Puddle Buster's helping. What's Mark up to? Oh, it's Spike. Oh. Boulder's Gate has not crashed. I thought it had for a second. That would be very sad. Just for safety, let's pop a quick save. <laughs> that would be incredibly annoying if that happened right now. Shadow Heart and Feral Heart. Yeah, they both work. Shadow Woof, Shadow Bark, Feral Heart. That was spooky. Yeah, imagine. We don't want the game to be doing that to us. Now, there's two options here, and one of them is pushing. And pushing has a lower chance, but what else is Lazel going to do? All right, that's fine. Stab him. Love that. Love that. Um, Shadowheart, stop being poisoned. It's not that deep. Lazel's going to go over here and just threaten this goblin. The spiders are going to kill Gut. They're going to miss Gut. What are you doing? Devout Mark! No! Oh, he was the best of us. Shadowheart, eat this goblin. Your time has come. Love that for her. Um... I feel like the spider's going to deal with Devout Mark. That's crazy. I was worried about how we were going to be able to deal with him. Goth dog, true. Is that like Gothmog from Lord of the Rings? Is that a Lord of the Rings reference that I hear? Should we mock Priestess Gut? Can we kill her with a vicious mockery? I don't know. Technically, we cannot kill her with a vicious mockery. We could kill her with an yes. arrow, though. Is her loot any good? 
Go on, Mark. I believe. No, he's not going for it. All right, fine. Do we have to kill these spiders? Because if we do, I guess the time to do it is now. Um, Puddle Buster, honestly, <laughs> just get down. I feel like there's been quite a few turns now, Puddle Buster, where you have just been doing absolutely nothing. Get down from there. Yeah, there should be more psychological warfare spells. I'm with you on that. Speak with animals. What with the spiders? You can befriend them. Okay, all right. I'm down for that. We already have speak with animals equipped. We'll go talk to the I'll spiders. Open the door. Locked, all right. Puddle Buster's out of combat right now. She can go wherever she wants. Puddle Buster can frankly go have a chat with the spiders mid-combat. I didn't know you could befriend the spiders. Ah, oh, Mark Sora. Devastated. To strike. Lazel, can you see him? There he is. Can you hit him with an arrow? People were saying that if she jumps, she'll get the option to fall safely. Let's see if that's true. Death. It's not true. Not <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't work at all. Lazel, um, Lazel, go kill Devout Mark. This is your end. Right, show's over, everybody. Oh, the world just got a little less. Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. Oh, we're getting that parasite for sure. It reduces the damage. She took reduced damage. Okay, fair. I thought it just stopped the damage altogether. Moving in. I thought we were going to be damageless. Let's pop a quick save. And then we'll go talk to these spiders. We'll go talk to the spiders. And then... Honestly, what's the point in looting those goblins? What are they going to have? Like a couple of teeth. Some lint. Anything of use? Anything of use? Nothing. Nothing. Goblin trash is what I'm seeing. Here we go. Do we have the key? We don't have the key. Who's our lock picker? Astarian. Huh? A crooked touch. Astarian, get us in there. Crack us in there, king. Yeah, church time indeed. It's time for the chat to get back into the game. There's a lever. Well, who needs it? Lever this, lever that. Let's get going. I don't need any of these um, handouts that you lot are relying on. Spiders. One day I'll catch a break. Spiders, I've come to bargain. What's up for discussion? Yes, my desire. Closer, my sweet. Scottish I will wrap spiders. You and bind you and bite you and eat you. We do have a pretty good history with spiders. Uh, just to check, shall I turn this on and see if it's working? I'm guessing it's not. Spam your choices in the chat. Since the Twitch extension has abandoned uh, has abandoned us today. Not working? Alright, fine. I'm seeing twos. I'm seeing twos. You should eat a goblin instead. They're delicious. Um, it looks like we're going to absolutely smash this. We've got the favourable beginnings. Oh, favourable beginnings is good. I hadn't considered that ability checks would, involve, would include stuff like dialogue. That is huge. Bardic Inspiration, do we need it? Yes. I want the spiders on our side. <laughs> oh my god. So that's a crit fail, isn't it? Oh. Huh? What? I swear we rolled a 1. How come that turned into a success? Have I just been exposed as a cheater? <laughs> game, game, this YouTuber was just exposed as cheating at Baldur's Gate 3. Games on hard mode was using a modded <laughs> a modded save that turned ones into twenties. Delicious! I do not know. But cruel and sharp, yes. Bindable and wrappable and biteable. Yes. Go on, spiders, off you go. Right, we'll let them go and do their thing. I wonder if they'll win. Maybe they'll just clear the whole camp for us. Top. <laughs> Top one streamers who lied on Baldur's Gate 3. I can't be the only one. I can't be the only one out here telling lies. Oh, the gnomes, the gnome rerolls once. Is that true? Is that true? Right. Parasite. Key. Who cares? Um, 
Ooh, aid for free is nice. And advantage on death saving throws. Equip. A shield. Who would use a shield? Shadowheart, maybe? Yeah, Shadowheart can have that. Take the potion of sleep. Um, yeah, I thought it was halflings that reroll ones. Because of lucky, right? No traps, please. See if these spiders have any loot. Scroll of hold person. Don't really need it. I'll give that to Astarian as a little treat. Um, right. Could search these dead people, but honestly, what are they going to have? Smithing. Nothing. Died with nothing to his name. No powers, no riches. Worms. Luck of the Fire Realms. Once per long rest, you can change a successful attack roll into a critical hit. Charm is very good. I've been using Charm a fair bit recently. As soon as enemies get multi-attack, Charm is huge. I think Charm is probably... Probably the one. Because, like, we're not making that many attack rolls. Charm is meh. No Charm fans. But multi-attack. Have you considered multi-attack? Have you considered that it protects against multi-attack? People are saying Luck of the Far Realms. Well... Two people have said luck of the Fire Realms. Charm is so mid. I that's not been my experience with Charm. What's mid about it? What explain to me how I'm wrong. They'll just attack another teammate. Yeah, but like, that's fine, right? We don't want them to attack Puddle Buster. It barely ever works. Luck of the Fire Realms is better. Alright, alright, listen. You're gonna love Twilight Eclipse Part 3. <laughs> All the charm haters are going to be sitting there seething. Uh, I don't know if any footage of charm being used will make it into the video, but believe you me, I have triggered charm many, many times. Yeah, I think I think Puddle Buster not being attacked is valid, but that's that's me. Did we? Can we still talk to the um, your man, the um, the little torturer guy, or is he hostile? It's a shame if we've lost his um, his little boon. But I guess that's life. A short rest. How did it go in? We'll pop a long rest before we go outside. Volo. People wanted to free Volo. Yeah, the BDSM guy. Who, who are these rats? Where are they going? Right. You have how much health? Seven health. Time to strike. Gribbo, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to be honest. On the move. I'm going to give it to you straight. I'm going to give it to you straight. You're a worthy foe. Alright, no you're not. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, Gribbo. You, you had a good run. You had a good run. Let's um, search Gribbo, see if she's got any money. She's got a key. She's got some alchemist fire. Volo, my man. No, not cage door. Well, I'm not falling for that one I again. I have something to ask. Oh, my friend. We can speak freely. I'm in no hurry to take my turn on that spit out front. Perhaps you'd be so kind as to unlock this cage? People of the chat, I leave this decision in your capable hands. I leave this important decision in your capable hands. Vote one, two, or three in the chat right now. The extension's not working. Vote one, two, or three. Oh, this is heated. Um, three, two, 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 three. Looks like the twos are coming in. The twos appear to be dominating currently. It's looking like twos coming in clutch. It's pretty close with the threes, though. One, two, three, four, five versus one, two. I think the twos just about have that. Just. Of course not. As compensation, I can assure you the tale of your heroism will live on forever. Jazon, thank you for the follow. Or Jizon. Jizon or Jazon. Whichever way you uh, whichever way you slice it, thank you for the follow. Uh, chat, what are we saying about Volo? Volo is trash, burn his stupid hat. <laughs> Endorsed by Volo Haters Anonymous. We have a two, we have a one, we have a two. You don't want to see invisibility for free permanently. Liz Citrona, you're arguing from a place of strategy. This is a very emotional chat. Not to diagnose, but like, hysterical might be too far. Hysterical might be too far, but like emotional, I'd say it. It's currently a tie between the ones and the twos, by the way. That last two's gonna swing it. Ben, please. A favor. 
Notable figure, too. Notable figure. You may not recognize me in these dire straits, but my name is Volothamp Gedarm, realm-renowned author, author, and tastemaker. Open this cell, and I'll never forget the kindness. If my first name was Volothamp, I would keep that quiet, personally. Personally, if it was down to me, I would not be shouting out about Volothamp. It's like, no disrespect to anyone in the chat who has this name, the name Rollo exists. And I have met in my life one person called Rollo, and it's literally spelled R-O-L-L-O, -L -L and it's like, do you want your child to be bullied? Their name is literally Roll-O. Like, <laughs> it's, it's like you're cranking up the difficulty settings on your child's birth. <laughs> no, there is full, full disrespect to Volothamps in the chat. Full disrespect. Bless you, my friend. I'll wait nicely, but please don't tarry. Right, are we letting him out? I, I take it from you saying, all right, we'll let you out, that we're letting him out. I'm interpreting. I'm reading between the lines. Aha! I knew I could count on you, my friend. We mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? If people try to cancel me for hating Volothamps, that's fine. I can handle all none of them. All zero of them turning up at my house. And if there are any, let's be honest, their parents are probably nerds. They're probably not that big of a threat. Unless it's like... Actually, I guess nerds can be a bit of a threat. Depends which kind of nerd you're talking about, doesn't it? It very much depends what type of nerd we're dealing with. I retract that. Apologies to the Volothamps. Looks like the fours are winning here. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Is that foreshadowing? Can't wait to pick your brain. Is that a little bit of foreshadowing? Is that a little, uh, is that a little hint at things to come? I spotted it. They thought that would get past me. They thought they could sneak that in. No. I see you. Someone. No, I don't want to talk to a starion. I wanted to pick up a cabbage. You have a manner of irresistible desperation about you. I regret to inform I like you. It. I regret to inform you that Astarian has things to say. We'll talk to you at camp, Astarian. We don't have time for this. I was just trying to pick up some cabbage. Also, didn't realize you could point at stuff in this game. How did I do that? You can point at Gribbo. All right, that's unlocked a world of possibilities. Swift as my feet can carry me. Right, we will talk to people back at camp. Control plus click. I was going right click plus left click. Who's in here? Rats. Is the little torture man in here? The only one who could ever reach me? Has he just exploded into a pool of blood? If so, I respect it a lot. <laughs> He's just like, I've seen enough. <laughs> I've seen enough of this. Hmm, Torture Rack. That's a funny name for a guy. Liam. He leaves. Okay, reasonable. I'd probably leave. Liam. What's the news? We can get some real info out of Liam, I bet. No, no. Please. Oh, don't hurt me. What are we saying, chat? We have a hostage. His name is Liam. All we know about him is he doesn't like getting hurt. All we know about Liam is that he's currently a hostage and he doesn't like to get hurt. <laughs> I'm taking that as unanimous. Uh, I, I can't tell you where the grove is. Please. If they find out, they'll, they'll kill everyone. Liam, I have some bad news about the grove. <laughs> Who's going to tell him? Who's going to tell Liam what happened to the Grove? Like, it's... The goblins aren't going to attack the Grove. Of that much, we can be certain. They are safe from that. <laughs> That's three votes... Four votes for leave. The threes are coming in. I'm... I'm... I'm looking at a leave vote here. This is looking pretty close. I'm going to give this to Team Leave. They were decisive. See you later, Liam. You can figure that out for yourself, I'm sure. Someone will be by. Someone else is going to take that quest. He's from Aradin's group. 
it's even better that he doesn't get out then, because Aradin's group are not around anymore. It's safer for him down here. Where is Halcyn? Is he along here somewhere? Is he in that room? Also, have I saved the grove yet? Save the refugees. Yes, we have saved the refugees, everybody. The refugees are safe. He's in the dungeon. Is this the dungeon? Saying he's in the dungeon, that's meaningless. Where is the dun- Oh, goblins. Friendly goblins? No. What's the plan for these guys? Honestly. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the plan is to for Shadowheart to run in. Shadowheart's going to dash up to... Eef. Got to press on. Shadowheart's getting involved. Lazel, you can run really far, can't you? Let's run really far. Double your movement speed. Double your movement speed and go to one that's further away. Because that is a better use of your time. Is this the dungeon? Walk pen entrance. That sounds like a dungeon to me. Okay, that's fine. This is going to be a miss. Told you. I don't think it's even worth popping a rage off here. This is this looks yes, more like a bard fight. This looks like a um Listen. We pop a vicious mockery on whoever's going next. You. A gift for a That gives them disadvantage on their attacks, right? Yeah. I thought he was happy. Can you just do this in general? Can't do it now anyway. Puddle Buster. Puddle Buster, what are we going to do about you? I think we're going to shoot some fire at this goblin. Do we want a crit? When does this reset? How many times can we use this? Let's kill Houston to eliminate any possibility of bear sex happening. <laughs> Milkman, it's happening. <laughs> Milkman, not real. I think you've wandered into the into a hostile chat here. I don't think I'm going to use Luck of the Far Realms here. We don't need to. We'll save it. Save it for housing. Or the wargs. Right, Shadowheart, eat this goblin. If Shadowheart ate a goblin as a wolf, what would happen if she then transformed back out of wild shape? Got to move. If she, like, straight up swallowed a goblin. Like, inhaled it all the way down. What would happen if she then transformed back? Does she then explode? Or does she transform into human form with like a goblin within her? Or does the goblin disappear along with the wild shape? It doesn't bear thinking about, really. It's a... Whatever happens, it's a nightmare. It's not a good scenario for anyone. Astarian, bite this goblin. Alright, Astarian, don't bite this goblin. Wait, no, Astarian, do bite this goblin. Dash to this goblin. Guess. It appears that the chat are talking about that scene. I've not actually seen it, but I also... Would it show it to us? Because we've turned off... Sometimes the only way out is through. Like, I've turned off a lot of the more raunchy settings. Would we actually see anything? We don't need a crit. We're fine. Easy. This goblin's going to give up. It's not going to give up. It's going to get eaten. Oh, damn you. Right, great. Should mind my step. It doesn't show it regardless. Well, no, I didn't I didn't expect them to show it. But I mean, like, do we get the, the run-up? Well, listen, it's on the cards. It's on the cards. We'll pass these arrows around. Everyone gets an arrow. We'll quick save, just in case something weird happens. I mean, if you want to just see the scene, that's easily done. It's probably on YouTube, right? If it's that tame. If it's really not all that exciting, it's probably on youtube.com forward slash C forward slash all Baldur's Gate romance scenes in full dot com. Let's see. That's my uh, secret second channel. <laughs> it's, um... I actually... I'll let you... I'll, I'll talk to you guys about this. I had an idea for a second channel that I, I'm not going to do. It sounds like loads of effort. But I thought it would be really... I thought it would be really funny to have... You know those videos that have, like, subway surfers or whatever? Or, like, footage of video games, and then it will be, like, whatever the focus of the video is on. Like, that. 
but on something that's actually like quite beneficial like something educational and like not in like a youtube educational way of like did you know in mario odyssey if you press the b button 10 times like actual like useful information i thought that would be cool but then i was like that sounds like a lot of work and also it probably wouldn't be force. that good but it occurred to me it occurred to me it occurred to me as a fun idea i also think it's probably been done like the more i think about it actually the more i think someone's probably done that already yeah, the video is where they jump in Minecraft, but like having some something useful next to it. Is this where the goblin kids are? Hell yeah. Cadvet, thank you for the follow. We're about to uh we're about to kill these goblin children. I, I I don't think that's up for debate, right? I think, you know, friendly fire. They might warn the others. It's too dangerous to let them live. These sorts of ideas. These are the kind of points I'm thinking of right now. We're out of rages, everybody. Which means this is a bard fight. Which means, what spells do we have? Is there an opportunity for a good shatter here? Not really. Is there an opportunity for dissonant whispers? Kind of. Is there an opportunity just to hit them with swords? Yes. We've got a... Oh, I forgot he can do all of this as well. He can... Um, we can double shot, right? If we get a starion here... Quickly. Can we go for the boom, boom? Boom, boom. That's how you do it. Lovely. Thank you for the follow. I missed the name there. Let me check the activity feed. Thank you, Red Weth, for the follow. Very cool. I appreciate it immensely. This goblin child's getting nowhere. Lazel. The wolf's dealing with that. Lazel's going to kill Beastmaster Zerk in one turn. Close enough. Kick him. Pat his little head. Stand here so the goblin child can't get past. Warrior pig over here. Tries the menacing attack, but you can't menace that which is menacing. That's what Batman says, right? <laughs> you cannot you cannot make me afraid. I am become fear, destroyer of um, the mentally infirm. Something along those lines. Uh, I can't really thunder wave. I can't Cloud of Daggers because we don't have the money, by which I mean spell slots. I could shoot at this Goblin Child, but that seems needlessly cruel, because uh, we'll get them anyway. I could use a Sorcery Point to get a spell slot back. That's what I could do. How do I do that? Spend Sorcery Points to unlock a spell slot. I would like... Oh, I can only get a level 1. Oh. Redworth, thank you for subscribing with Prime Gaming. Appreciate that immensely. Very kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the Bezos money. Ray of Sickness. What's the range on that? That's one target. Magic Missile? Can't slow down. Maybe it's time for a Magic Missile. Because then we can go... One... <laughs> Apologies to this man. One... Two... Three... And we're invisible, and we can fly until the end of the turn. It was worth it. It was worth it. I can't move very far. How do I fly? How do I fly? Am I flying? Can fly to target position. Oh, there it is. Fly. Hey, Eagle Troy with the gifted sub. That's very kind of you. What a lovely thing to do. A free gift to the community. Thank you very much. We've got to fly somewhere. You have limited time to learn exclusive to earn exclusive emotes. Oh, because of the hype train. Choo choo, all aboard. Um, last time I did, I already did the joke about murder on the Orient Express, and now I don't want to do it again. Unless, <laughs> unless, what else? What other famous trains are there? Thomas, the tank engine. Let's talk about Thomas, the tank engine for a minute. Oh, uh-oh. RIP to this goblin. Snow I've not seen Snowpiercer, but I feel like I have. I've not seen Snowpiercer, but I feel like I get it. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like I've... I feel like I can probably guess what it's like. Because Snowpiercer's the one where it's like... Capitalism is bad, especially if it's a train, right? Is that the idea? Like, so here's my prediction about Snowpiercer, and I've not seen it. 
So we'll have a prediction about Snowpiercer. So I think that in Snowpiercer, there will be a train car at the, let's say, the front. Would you want to be at the front or the back if you were the mega, mega masters of the train? I'm going to say probably the front. But I might be wrong, but you probably want to be at the front. So at the front of the train, you've got all the big bosses, right? They're all chilling at the front. They're like, this system is perfect. There's nothing wrong with this system. It is right that I get to go to the front of the train because my granddad, um, oh my, my granddad lived and died at the front of the train. And he did a lot of work getting this train up and running. But the further back you go on the train, the worse it gets until you get to the final carriage where people are like strung up by their fingers and they're being bled and they use their blood to fuel the train like they drain them of their blood and then they put that into the train but not everyone knows about that it's like how in a christmas carol charles dickens is like oh there's bits of london that scrooge didn't know about where people didn't have loads of money it's like that um except instead of not having loads of money it's people who are having their blood drained um in order to fuel the train um, and then our protagonist discovers how bad the system is and they go, this system's bad. And people go, you're crazy. And then they probably do something like, they probably do something violent, I'd guess. They probably do some kind of violent action that's like controversial until you think about it for a minute and then you're like, actually, you know what, he's kind of got a point. Our protagonist does that and they try and get to the front of the train and then we learn that actually, actually it's bad to have this system. Now, no disrespect to Snowpiercer, because I imagine it's actually pretty good. Because a lot of people talk about it. But I imagine it's something along those lines. And I could be way off, and I accept it. The game Frostpunk, but on a train. Okay, now I definitely get it then. I tried playing Frostpunk once. And I think I could get into it, potentially. But I didn't that time. It just seemed incredibly depressing, and I don't think I was quite in the right state of mind for it. I was like, I get it. I appreciate this. I appreciate why this exists. But equally, I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> get, get me out of here. Lazel, avoid the grease. Blind this goblin, Lazel. Love that for you, Lazel. Lazel, push this goblin. Topple this goblin. Stagger this goblin. Push this goblin. Actually, no, don't push him. Topple him. Topple him. Lazel, knock him down. Great. Love that. There is a highlighted message in the chat. Hold on. Abandon everything. Someone has spent their valuable um, cringe coins. In your personal opinion, what is your least favourite movie of all time? Like a real gear grinder of a film for you. Let me think about that for a minute. Because I'm sure there is one. But nothing springs to mind immediately. But there must be one. You thought the series was better than the film. I've, n I've seen neither. Um... A film I just... A film that just really annoys me. I think in general I'm quite, like, open to most films. I'm not... I'm not as much as a hate of a hater as you might... As you might expect. When is this goblin child gonna die? <laughs> Veskyfish, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, Blood Trains and Analog Twitch plugin. It's true. That is a summary of this... <laughs> summary of this stream. A film that I hate. There must be something. There must be a film that just, you know, for lack of a better phrase, pisses me off. But I can't write this second. I can't imagine such a film. Fall on the grease. Please fall on the grease. Fall on the grease. Fall on... <sighs> Did it get away? Did that little goblin get out of here? What an absolute chad. The survivor. Redweth says, Woolbren? Question mark? I don't know what you mean by this. <laughs> what do you mean by Wolverine question mark? Is that a film? I thought that was a character. Are we talking about characters? Who the most racist character in Baldur's Gate 3 is? That's a tough one. Probably Shadowheart. Um, I'm still stuck on this bad film thing. What are some films I've seen that are bad? My mind, in my mind now, I can't think of a single film. I'm really, really struggling. Struggling to imagine having ever watched a film in my life. Um, where are the goblins, by the way? And Halsin. Halsin's there. Oh, it's just the wolves. It's just the wolves. 
Right, Shadowheart, you got to get jumping. Or you've got to save the game. Since you aren't a hater, is there a film everyone hates but you think is underrated? There's lots of films that I think are underrated. Cloudy with a Chance oh, yes. of Meatballs is one of them. I don't think everyone hates it, but I think it's underrated. I think Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs is a very funny film. The first half especially is really good. And it's a film where whenever you suggest it, people are like, no, obviously not. That sounds terrible. But it's good. Saw 6. Saw 6. People who haven't seen... Speak, speaking of films about capitalism, people who haven't seen the Saw franchise... People who have not seen the Saw franchise and brush it off don't know how good Saw 6 is. Saw 6 is like one of the best Saw films. With the and I do not say that lightly. <laughs> that is, that is, um, you know, I mean that as a sincere compliment. Let's frighten this wolf. Alright, never mind. 55% is pretty rubbish. Let's mock this wolf. Alright, let's do nothing then, that's fine. Fury. The I first Saw is good, the new Saw is good as well, yeah, true. It's not quite Saw 6, but it's not. It's also not Saw 4, you know? Or Saw 7. No, but Saw 6 has just like, um... Where do I go from here? It's got a nice tidy little, tidy little story, it's got good traps, it's got a really dislikable protagonist. Um... Just a nasty dude. The last one of the trilogy was terrible. Which trilogy are we talking about? Star Wars. Um, all right, I am. I will. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to be. I'm ready for people to unfollow. I am a Last Jedi defender. I'm a Last Jedi defender. I don't think it's, you know, as good as something like The Empire Strikes Back, obviously. But, but, I think that the Last Jedi took a few risks and does a few interesting things that a lot of other Star Wars films don't have the balls to dare to do. Time to push I think luck. having the heroes fail, I think pr the fact that it's almost like universally a film about failure, I thought was a very interesting choice. I understand why it annoyed people, but I do think it was a bit of a, bo I think it was a bold choice. Um, I think some of the complaints about the film are a bit lame. I think people who complain about the throne room scene are just analysing it in too much detail. Like, just accept it for what it is. The only reason people don't like that scene is because they've watched it slowed down. And they're like, they're not even touching. And it's like, yeah, of course they're not touching. They're not in... They're not in space. It's not real. <laughs> just chill out. <laughs> it's like... If you analyse a fight scene to that extent, you're going to find things you don't like. And I find it suspicious. I find it suspicious that many of the people that hate that film seem to have issues with it that aren't to do with that. And I'm not saying there aren't valid complaints you can make about that film. There certainly are. But I do Pond find it viscera. suspicious. Sorry, House and Story. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Why is he talking to Lazer? I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Zick one one one. Thank you for the follow. Um, chat. What's Lazel saying here? What are we saying about Lazel? What is Lazel's reaction to this situation? Time for an honest Lazel reaction. Thank you for the props on the multitasking. That fight was quite easy. <laughs> it wasn't. Um, I really wasn't actually thinking about that fight very hard. Um, but yeah, I think I think Last Jedi gets a bit too much hate. I understand why people wouldn't like it. Oh, another complaint that really annoys me about The Last Jedi, I think this is a really lame argument, is at the beginning there's this space fight, right? And I saw a lot of people on YouTube complaining that there's this like space bomber, essentially, where the bombs like drop out of it. And they're like, um, there's no gravity in space. It's like, first off, shut up. It's, it's a film about space wizards. Second off, there's obviously gravity in the ship. So if it's released out of the ship and it goes into a vacuum, it's going to keep moving. And thirdly, it looks cool. Shut the hell up. It's Star Wars. It's not Hamlet. Like, it's... it's you've come to watch... You've come to watch Space Wizards fighting it out, and that's fine, and that's good. Indeed. Well, 
Not the most opportune moment, but given the lengths you went to, I assume there's some urgency. Come on then, what's the problem? Unless you'd rather wait for an audience of goblins. We getting rid of our brainworms, lads. Oak Father preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... Something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? On the Star Wars front, I will add that I think Rise of Skywalker was really bad. I, I, I am not a Rise of Skywalker defender. I think Rise, Rise of Skywalker was genuinely not good at all. And like... It just went in such an odd direction. And I think it was because they were trying to shake off the Last Jedi thing, right? Because there were loads of um, people on YouTube being like, The Last Jedi is the worst thing to happen to Star Wars. It's Jar Jar Binks. Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, that's cool. Have you ever read a book? Have you ever... Um, have you ever watched a film where the good guys don't win? Have you ever, like, just stepped outside, breathed in the fresh air, and, you know, just lived your life? Have you ever considered it? Have you ever touched grass? Exactly. Have you ever been in love? <laughs> like, it's just... It's just, um... The hate was disproportionate. And the really weird thing about Last Jedi, quickly before I talk about this artifact, the really weird thing about it was I came out of that film going, I thought that was kind of cool. And then gradually, over the next few days and weeks, I'd say maybe 50% of people I spoke to started just, these, creep, these talking points started creeping in. These same talking points started creeping in about, oh, the fight in the throne room's not very good, and uh, it doesn't make sense in the Star Wars canon that you can shoot a spaceship through a bigger ship. Hmm. Suspicious. That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but... I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Also, The Last Jedi has some of the best cinematography in any Star Wars film. Right? Hopefully we can all appreciate that. Even if you think the choreography in the choreography choreography in the throne room was terrible, surely you can appreciate the vibes. The vibes were spot on. Uh, anyway, that's enough about Star Wars. I'm um, I'm not a Star Wars YouTuber. I don't know it. I've I've watched most of those films once, exactly once, precisely once. Um, I'm seeing one vote for one. I'm seeing two votes for one. People want that house in law. <laughs> like, please, I beg of you, stop talking about the Last Jedi. <laughs> You're just making it worse follower number is like nose diving down to like 200 150 120 people who aren't even watching the stream have got word of it i overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to moonrise towers innocents go in true souls come out given that all of these true souls are infected it has to be the source for this magic if you want to find a cure you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated Superhero, that sounds like a genuinely very interesting class. I would find that very interesting, I think. As a, um... As someone with an interest in that sort of vibe. I think we need, honestly need more. More formal education about things like Star Wars. Because honestly, there's people out here learning about... You know, I'm trying to think of an example that like just doesn't affect people's lives. Um, you could go and learn about... 
Rite of Spring, right? Realistically, not that many people have heard of Rite of Spring. It's in Fantasia. Um, and you might be like, oh yeah, well it caused a caused a huge fuss when they did it because it looked like the dancers were naked. Oh wow, it was crazy. But like, who cares? It doesn't really affect my life, but I know a little bit about it. However, Star Wars, as we've seen, talk about Star Wars, people lose their minds or people have opinions. They're like, I enjoy Star Wars. Gladly, but, but first I, I must return to the Jedi. Grove. As you made short work of the Goblin's leaders, there's nothing stopping me. Come join me in your own time. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. Speaking of Stanford University, um, having a class on Taylor Swift. Later this year, I will be able to lead a class on Taylor Swift because I will have been there. I will have witnessed her live. I am indeed going to have seen Taylor Swift live. I'm going with my fiance. It's going to be great. I don't know all of the songs, but I know enough of them that I reckon it'll be fun. Um, Taylor Swift, I think, not really underrated. <laughs> don't think that would be fair to say. But, you know, there's a reason she's as popular as she is. Beastmaster's Chain, Animal Friendship. That sounds pointless. Get rid of that. Uh, if I want friends, I'll make Time them. I don't need to force them. Um, let's loot these What's little inside? enemies. Korga is dead. Yeah, Korga is dead. That's true. Korga's very dead. What's Eagle Tro saying that we're responding to here? Where's the original comment that prompted the answer? Are we calling out the Shadow Druids, by the way? Um, I don't think the Shadow Druids are alive. <laughs> I, I don't think they... Um... I didn't know about the Shadow Druids until quite recently, by the way. Completely missed them on my first playthrough. And completely missed them with Twilight Eclipse. Didn't realise that was a thing. But then I was playing just another save that I have for fun. You know, things that I do instead of making YouTube videos. You know, things I do when I should be, um, you know, coming up with different ways to say that someone's hair isn't real. Um, <laughs> it's not that I ever need to say that. Obviously, that's that's a relevant complete lie. Is there anything good in here? No, this looks like a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Um, I'd love for this grease not to be here, but I think we'll just have to fall over. Let's fall over. I think we should probably do a long rest. I think we should do a long rest for the following reasons. One, we can talk to our companions. Two, something might happen. Long rest equals things happen. Um... Shadowheart, you don't need to be a wolf anymore. <laughs> Shadowheart. Shadowheart, you need to drop it. You can't just be walking around the camp like this, Shadowheart. It's needless. It's senseless. Volo time. Where's Volo? There he is. We'll pop the quick save. Congrats on the new job, hybrid equalist. I hope it's everything you dreamed of and more. Um... Always exciting to have a little change in your life. It's not always the easiest thing to get a new job. Sometimes it can be very difficult indeed, depending on what you're looking for. Volo, what's up? <laughs> Scratch. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flayers, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> I genuinely normally ignore Volo entirely. I find him incredibly grating. What's the play? What's the line? He's just a bit much. I guess it's maybe it's like looking in a mirror. He's just, um, he's too much like me. I see too much of myself in him. I too have written a D and D handbook with like a guide to monsters in it. Volathamp, Volathamp, something lame, <laughs> something embarrassing. Volathamp. Apologies to the Volathamps, except well, not really. I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Oh, this 
this is... I don't actually know if anyone in this chat is in on this joke. Because this has been something in my Discord for a while. But, um... I... It's Valentine's Day coming up soon. And I happen to have the day off. I will not be working on Valentine's Day. Which means... That it's not impossible... That we could do some kind of Valentine's Day stream. Because Valentine's Day is on... It would have. To, it would be at a different time. It would be... Um, daytime. Because in the evening... Believe it or not, I have decided that my fiance and I will be doing something. We'll be, we are going out for a meal. We will not be streaming. We'll not be streaming Valentine's Day evening. But... But... In the daytime... It's not impossible... It's not impossible. But I don't know what time of day that is for you lot. I feel like you might all be asleep. It might just be me. But, you know, it's possible. There's a chance. It depends as well how I'm doing with the video. Also, where's the votes? I'm seeing a two. Is that two just going to be the decider? I'm seeing three twos. As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? Where I am right now, it's quarter to 11 at night. So, yeah, it would be, yeah, maybe the timing's just dodgy. Maybe the timing's dodgy. Maybe it wouldn't work. Maybe I should just do YouTube stuff instead. It is very nearly bedtime. It's approaching bedtime. That's, that's what time it is. It's almost time to west my, west? Rest my weary head. You know when I start getting the front of the words wrong. You know that's when the juice is running low, <laughs> as we say in the business. Oh yeah, the juice is running low. That's a common British slang. Use that, say that to any British person. They'll know what you mean. They'll know what you're talking about. Flame boy sacrificing your sleep. I appreciate it, but also make sure you stay well rested. I appreciate it, but also look after number one, and number one is you. Flame boy three one four. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. See, he just doesn't shut up, Volo. That's the thing. That's the thing about Volo. He just... He keeps going. And what he has to say is full of sound and fury signifying nothing. He is the idiot that tells the tale. He is... Everything I fear I will become. Everything I fear I already am. Just a bag of hot air. <laughs> we should have just left. <laughs> Very true. It looks like threes. <laughs> the Neverminds are taken over. The Neverminds are taken over. Nirvana has entered the chat. Mm. You! Infected by a mind flare! Oh, ridiculous! Just waffling. Isn't it? He speaks of nothing. He talks in riddles. It's just... He's Jaskier, guilty of a bit of embellishment here and there. A bit. Man's making up words. Did you hear his song about Draw Ragslin? There was like two real words in that whole song. What's his excuse? He's out here not writing the Jabberwocky. He wishes. He wishes he had the ability to make it sound that good. Entrancing for all the wrong reasons? Yeah, exactly. What's the disagreement now with um, <laughs> with Milkman? Are you just talking about your options in the chat? One, 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 one. This looks like the ones have it. Yeah, the ones have it. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. I do gather that Milkman is anti some of the uh, forbidden treats of Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Pro Astarian. I feel like Astarian's going to happen. I He's so popular. Peer in your eye, I could quickly. Oh, my dear sweet gods! This is a democracy, it's true. It's possibly the only true democracy. The only democracy that works is this Twitch chat. We don't get ties anymore. The first few streams, we, st we had quite a few ties. 
doesn't happen anymore. People have figured it out. People have really got into a groove. We've really found our feet as a fledgling nation. If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. If I wait until the votes come in, you can avoid vote splitting. It's true. Maybe I should wait a little bit longer for the votes, but it's not my fault that the extension's not, you know, not doing its thing. I could only wait so long. By the way, Denny Yo 11 welcome to the chat. Good to have you here. Or Denny Yu, Denny Yu 11 We receive Blazer of Benevolence. Now, this is going to be an unpopular statement. Do we want to give this to Astarian? Because, right, you might think it's a, you know, you might think, well, obviously, but then... Last time we had this discussion, his armor class is currently 15. What happens if we put this on? 12. Not happening. Not happening. He's tougher like this. We can check the fit. Like, yeah, cool, drippy, but also... Obviously not, right? Armor class 12. Are we five years old? <laughs> Are we... Are we newly emerged from the womb? No. Armor class 15 is where we need to be. Now. We do need to have a long rest just to see if anything exciting happens. Chat, I'm going to let you pick one person for us to go and talk to. I'm going to let you put in the chat which member of the team you want to go talk to. I'm going to let you pick one. We'll go talk to one of them and then we'll go to bed. Both, Probably both in-game and out of game. Will. I see a vote for Will. Cremo Supremo straight in there with Will. The Wolf. Astarian Will. The Wolf is Shadowheart, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Will. So that's two for Will. Two for Astarian. Three for Astarian. One for Shadowheart. Will's taken over again. Will. 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 Astarian, Astarian, Astarian. So that's a tie between Will and Astarian right now. We're voting because we've got time to do one. I think we're going to talk to one person in the camp before we do the long rest. Denny Yo 11 is now following. Thank you very much. Yo back to yourself. We're voting on who to talk to. Gail is not here, I'm afraid, Vesky Fish, and I think you know that. Withers? <laughs> who's, who's throwing away their vote voting for Withers? Mizora, Lamau, Gail. It's not... We're, we can't talk to Gail. Right, it's between Will and Astarian. It's between Will and Astarian. Spam the chat. Karlak is not here. Vesky Fish, you're just you're listing people who aren't here. You know full well that none of these people are here. You can talk to Gail, but only with sign language. What are you talking about? What are you people on about? You're way too cryptic. Watch your I think No, I don't want to control Astarian. I think time to rest? because it was pretty split, I think we're going to talk to Will. I like the idea of talking to Will because we've not seen much of him. Let's see what he's got to say for Breathe himself. Breathe deep and move. Where is he? There he is. Very well. We'll go have a word with Will. We'll talk to Astarian next time. I God promise. gods. Watching you consume that tadpole was more disgusting than the tadpole itself. Wait. Though, no, I suppose that's not what you wanted to talk about. Will, people just voted to come and talk to you. And the first thing you do is talk about how disgusting we are. Option seven is leave, by the way. Just... Like, what is his whole deal? He's been a real buzzkill. Like, when we went to the barn where, like, the uh, bugbear and the ogre were hanging out. Should we say? <laughs> he does look like he's about to cry. When we went to that barn, he was like, we best leave them to it. Probably best not to disturb them. And it's like, shut up, Will. <laughs> Obviously, we're going into the barn. You can hear just as well as I can what's going on in there. Obviously, we're going to go look. The threes are winning. I've noticed your stone eye. Let's hear about it. A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone. Carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, 
But that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. So he's saying we're not friends, we're not calm. He thinks we're gross. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just Vesky fish. There's something about <laughs> Wow Will that's really boring. <laughs> I don't know why that got to me like that, but I wish that was an option <laughs> in the game. <laughs> wow Will, that's really boring. <laughs> Larian, please add. <laughs> Three, one. Right, the ones look like they're winning. The ones look like they're winning. Just, yeah. Let's have a look at this eye. Tiny groove spider across the eye's surface. It resembles a sending stone used to confer with distant contacts. Did we all enjoy Puddlebuster's little squint there? Because I did. <laughs> yeah, Flameboy314, that is... You should start saying that to your co-workers. Um, <laughs> it actually reminds me of um, <laughs> something my fiancé said that caught me completely off guard. I was... Um, I can't remember what I was talking to her about, but I was describing something about my day. Um, it wasn't, like... It was not an interesting story. And I got maybe, like, four or five sentences in, and she just <laughs> looked me in the eye and said, that is completely irrelevant. <laughs> and it... <laughs> Oh, it caught me off guard. It caught me so bad. <laughs> you know, you, you, when you're just waffling. You guys know what it's like when you're just waffling. When you have to hear me just talking about nothing. <laughs> yeah, Holly MVP, exactly. A uh, sending stone. <laughs> nothing so special, I assure you. His breathing quickens. His jaw tenses. Will is keeping something from you. Casual unwinding, yeah, exactly. When things start coming apart at the seams. Sometimes your wife just walks off mid-conversation. Now that is the next step. We've not got there yet, but soon. Maybe that's a post-wedding thing. Maybe then you unlock the ability <laughs> to just be a Sigma wife. You focus on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. It needs to rest. We were just trying to reinforce Will. Uh, do we want to change the subject or do we want to leave? Yeah, Holly is a Sigma, it's true. <laughs> She's... I'll, I'll let her know. I don't know if she would understand what that meant. I don't know if Holly is clued up on the Sigma law. I'll tell her, though. I'll pass it on. Say, chat, think you're a Sigma. For the record. Two, two, two... One, one. Rude. Your auto response to your girlfriend talking about Astarian. I mean, it's I, I'm surprised. How many relationships do we reckon have been ruined by Astarian? It's got to be more than zero. It's got to be more than zero. I refuse to believe that it's none. I also am seeing a tie and I'm going to leave. Because <laughs> we've, we've got things to do. We've got to go to bed. We've got a quick save, because you never know. Yeah, exactly. She's making fan art. She's talking about it. I'm not saying that yours is ruined. I'm not saying that yours has been ruined, but... What if you're in a relationship with Astarian, though? <sighs> I'm sorry to break this to you, but... So are, like, seven million other people. <laughs> like a lot of them. Let's see what this does. I don't think he's an exclusive kind of guy. <laughs> Shadowheart, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, people have think people have important things to say. That's a bit of a pain. Oh, I forgot that Astarian's in Carlac's little trousers. All right, we've probably got time to. Have we got time? Can we talk to them in the morning? Do you reckon? Hmm. 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 I think... I think we'll talk to them next time. Someone in camp still wishes to speak with you. Alright, never mind. Baldur's Gate has other ideas. We'll start with Shadowheart. Something's we're not going wrong. off topic. I feel... 
I feel... Ah! Ah, it hurts. Darkness, protect me. Is this because she's not a cleric anymore? Do we reckon? Or is she just waffling about her hand as per usual? Yeah, Shadowheart turning into a wolf, it was an experiment because we wanted to see if she would be scared of herself and the answer was no. Time <laughs> to die and leave. <laughs> I mean, right now it's two votes for that, which means that's what's happening. Alright, the ones are coming in. Another three though. Currently, Leave Gang have got this one. All right, Heldrop, enjoy your drive home. Drive safe. Right. <laughs> nice one, Shadowheart. Better luck next time. Astarian, what's up? <laughs> there you are. I was just thinking about you. And that delicious moment we shared the other night. Now this is an important decision. This is something that looks like it might count. Just as Heldrip leaves. Just as Heldrip slams the door on the stream. The Twilight fans, not the Twilight Eclipse fans, the Twilight fans have arrived. And I'm seeing a lot of ones. The very same. I've had this condition for two centuries, but truth be told, <clears throat> you're my first. In all these years, I've only ever fed on beasts. Drinking the blood of thinking creatures is a different thing entirely. You were delectable. And now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. Rescue fish. There's no need to throw shade at Puddle Buster. She's just because she's not a sprightly young 21-year-old um, gnome or whatever, like, a young gnome is. Just because she's seen a few things. Just because she's lived a life and she has signs of a life well lived. Doesn't mean we've got to go in like that. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. Don't worry. There's enough of me to go around. I'm a man of tremendous appetites. I don't think they'd volunteer, of course. But it doesn't make me any less curious. Take Will, for example. A man of the people. Very palatable. Like a sweet cider. But the gift. What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. I've not seen this conversation before because I don't... I, I'm, I'm not an Astarian... I've not explored the Astarian line. He's normally just the funny, funny little kooky little vampire guy in the team where it's like, ah, oh, Starion, you would disapprove of me offering to help this orphan. That's classic you. Oh. Well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. <laughs> You've perfectly memorized every Astarian line. That is quite the claim. That is quite the claim. What's the best Astarian line? Yeah, no, I've, I've noticed that we're romancing Astarian. It has not eluded me. It has not... <laughs> it has not um, gone over my head that that is what is happening. I am aware. I think I was aware from the moment he was started walking around in his underwear that that's probably where this was heading. No one's getting killed, I swear. We're just... Two friends talking. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? That's a big question. If we had to take a bite out of one of the team, who would we go for? Milkman not real, straight in with the five. Straight in with the Riz. That's what the kids say, isn't it? The Riz. Someone commented on my Skyrim video quite a long time after it came out saying that the character who, for reference, was called Richard should have been called Rizard. And I remember reading that comment and going, thank you for leaving that comment, but you are wrong. 
that, that, that is, that is not right. Oh, <laughs> I'm flattered. Who knew you had such taste? Unfortunately, all this talk is getting me hungry. I better find something I can actually sink my teeth into. It's going to be a goblin, a stallion, based on where we are. It's going to be a go Oh, you know what? Liam. You guys remember Liam? Liam's right there. What's Liam going to do? What are Liam's options right now? I wish we could recommend it. Like, you remember... Do you remember, like, 50 meters away? There was that guy, Liam. Just hanging out. The guy we left on the rack to sort himself out. Go get him. And nothing out there will taste as good as the alternatives. But I'll make do. Sweet dreams. All right. Good. I'm glad we sorted that out. Let's go to bed. He could try Volo, that's true. Oh, we've got a conversation. Let's go. Could it be? It is. Get your emotes ready. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. <laughs> I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hope a druid as powerful as Holsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Is it just me? And I know we were all talking last week. Well, I say we were. You were all talking last week about how the male Dream Guardian voice is like a voice that you found to be attractive. And it, this isn't out of jealousy. This is not me talking out of jealousy. Does he have a slight speech impediment? No, not quite a lisp. But when he does is and understandable. Is there not a little bit of W's where there should be L's? I think there might be. I don't know if it's the character. You're desperate to be rid of it. Like that. Yeah, like he's slurring a bit. Now it might be it might be part of the character. It might be part of the character that he talks this way. Or maybe that's just how he talks. Only had a few glasses of wine. I'm seeing a one, I'm seeing a three. Tell me who you are versus so what should I be doing versus I don't care about the tadpole. I've been offered great power by my butler. <laughs> Forgot about the butler. We all love the butler, don't we? Twos and ones duking it out right now. There's another two. I'm going to accept that. I think the two's going to tip it over the edge. Ambition is good. You are resourceful and will gather many allies to aid your strength. Use them how you will, but whatever you do, a word of advice. Do not listen to that false butler. He knows nothing of what the tadpole is capable of. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Holson knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites were merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. The butler, Denio, is a Dark Urge exclusive character who pops up relatively early on in a Dark Urge playthrough. If you've not experienced him, I suspect he'll be back. I suspect he'll be back at some point. We've not seen him in a while, but I imagine he'll turn up again. He gave us a clake, a clake, a cloak that turns us invisible when we kill someone. It's great. What is the sickness? We're getting deep into the lore here from Twilight Eclipse. Giving us all the info we could ever need. Yeah, I'm honestly, Milkman Not Real, I was wondering that. Whether it's like a deliberate choice. The absolute aims are not yet clear to me. 
but its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than illithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. The uh, female Dream Guardian definitely doesn't have this sort of um, slurry uh, voice. So if there was a deliberate decision made there, it wasn't discussed. What we say into Twilight Eclipse here. We need to wrap it up. I don't trust you. Oof. Clearly, you people don't know what you're talking about. An anonymous gifter has gifted a sub to Milkman Not Real. Thank you, an anonymous gifter. I assume that's not the name of someone's actual account. I assume that is genuinely an anonymous gifter. How generous of you. Thank you, anonymous gifter. Very kind. Four, four, three, four. I'm seeing fours. Why are you protecting me? Tell us, Twilight Eclipse. Oh, I was about to click the wrong screen. Because I am just like you. And I need an ally. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once... I almost succeeded. Flashback to the entire Twilight well, Eclipse playthrough. Through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. There are, <laughs> there are decisions that need to be made. I've been summoned elsewhere. I need to impulsively start a fight somewhere. Yeah, sorry about revealing the speech thing, but it is it is there, isn't it? And there's nothing wrong with it. People can talk how they like. And I do think it still has its same quality as before. But it definitely is. There's something about it that's not quite... It doesn't quite enunciate every syllable. He's too busy sounding cool. 4444444. The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can. But sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, Destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Milkman Not Real, to answer your question, not all of them know. Uh, some of the people that Twilight Eclipse killed definitely, you know, started lying about him, but not all of them. Some of them threatened him. Some of them he didn't start the fight, it just sort of happened. Right, I appreciate that we need to talk to Scratch and we need to talk to Volo, but I'm saying what better way, what better way to start next time? Now, I'm just going to quickly have a look. I'm just going to quickly look at something. Let me, hold on, let me cook. Um, I think there is no one streaming currently who... I follow who isn't way bigger than me and therefore no point raiding so I think what we will do is we'll wrap it up there same time next week Tuesday except probably starting a little bit earlier closer to 8 o'clock UK time glad you enjoyed the stream everybody and thank you for coming back it's massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed and given bits and followed um, hang on can I get a list of them that would be good wouldn't it if I read out a little list hold on hold on everybody thank you to anonymous gifter 
Denny uh, Denny Ozdich for the follows, Vesky Fish for the bits, uh, Eagle Trove for the gifted sub, Redweth for subscribing with Prime, Redweth for following, Cabvet for following. There's more that I can't scroll up to, but thank you to all of those people. Thank you for your presence, your insightful comments, your company, all of it. Uh, I'll pop this up on YouTube as soon as I can. So remember, streams on hard mode on YouTube is where the VODs go. And also, for those who missed it, next week there will be a new microphone. It's going to be something sweet. I've finally upgraded my microphone and it's going to be ready to use next week. It's going to be crazy. See you there. Have a good night. Bye.